Don't you hate when all of your brushes are dirty and you just want to put some makeup on and you don't want to wash them all? Well, I have a trick for you. I'm going to take my F20, give it a clean, a quick dry. And I'm going to apply all of my makeup using this one brush. That's right, foundation, concealer, powder, contour, highlight, and blush using just this fancy little brush. I'm only going to be using it on one side so you guys can see the difference, but obviously you can do both sides. So let's get started with some primer. I'm going to apply this all over my face and I'm going to be using this brush to buff and blend this in. I find you get a much even finish. It's something I never used to do, but it does make a difference. Now for foundation, I'm going to pump the foundation on the back of my hand. And what do we always do when we pump it on the back of our hand? We spread it out because we don't want a big blob on our brush. Now, if you're worried about wasting any foundation, you can always use a palette. And we're going to then dip our brush into our area, picking up a little bit of product just on the very tips of the brush. It's really important to make sure you're only coating the white tips of the brush. You don't want it to come down too far because it will clog up the brush. We're going to start to woodpecker this all over the skin. Some people call it stippling. I like to call it woodpeckering. Basically keeping the brush at a 90 degree angle and just bouncing off and on the skin over and over again. And you're just working this through the entire face, applying a very thin, even layer of foundation. Now the way that you hold the brush is also really important. So I want you to pick it up like you're holding a pen, but then I want you to rest the brush handle against your finger. So right on the edge of your finger, and this will allow you to do that stippling motion. And then I want you to drop, if possible, your other two fingers to give you a little bit more balance and stability. This might feel uncomfortable for some people, but I do find that it really works for me. Once we have our foundation on, I'm going to apply concealer, working underneath the eye, alongside the edge of the nose, through the forehead, around the brows, around the lip, and a little bit on the jawline. Oh, and don't forget the corner of the eye. Then taking your brush, you're going to buff and blend this out, working in exactly the same way that we've been using it the entire time that little woodpecker motion. And when working around the brow area, what I like to do is I like to place it really close to the brows and then twist it so it very gently kisses the edge of the brow. So that way you get really close to the brows, even with a big brush like this. Now our concealer is blended, it's time to move on to powder. Now because we've been applying liquid with this brush, it is going to feel a little bit damp and this may cause your powder to kind of stick to certain areas, look a little bit uneven. So what I want you guys to do is to take a cotton pad or a tissue and just remove any excess moisture that might be on the brush. And it actually makes such a massive difference if you can see the before and after. The brush is now a little fuller. It's going to pick up the product and it's not going to be as damp. But we don't want to dip the brush directly into our palettes. You may have a residue of liquids and oils that were on your skin and you don't really want to put them and collect them in your pressed powder. So another way to do it is to take a cotton pad or a powder puff, pick up the product on that and then use that to pick it up onto the brush. Just a little bit more hygienic way to apply your powders. And then we're basically going to buff this all over the skin. Don't apply as much pressure as you have been applying and set all of that concealer and powder in place. Now that everything's set in place, we can then go ahead and apply our highlighter, brush, and bronzer. And you're probably wondering how we're actually going to manage to do this without disturbing our blush or disturbing our contour using the same brush. Is it possible? Yes, it is. What you're going to do is you're going to coat one side of the brush in your highlight and one side in your contour. So roll one side of your brush into your highlight, only coating a small area just on one side. And then just apply this the same way as you would any type of highlighter. Very lightly sweeping across the cheekbone. Try not to rub against the skin. Instead, I want you to very lightly kiss it, working in the direction of the brush bristles so as not to damage or disturb the bristles. And you can use this to apply your highlighter on, on pretty much any area of the skin. Now for contour, you want to use the other side of the brush, so directly across from where you use the highlighter. And using the top of the ear and the corner of your mouth as your guide, you're going to work in this hollow area. And you can come at it from above or below. So if you're coming at it from above, you're just basically going to roll this across the hollow of the cheek. But if that feels a little uncomfortable, you can always come at it from underneath as well. And at this point, I realized that I'd picked up the wrong contour shade and it was a little yellow and too dark for me. Then you want to use the flat side of the brush to buff and blend this in sweeping slightly upwards as you do so. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually holding the brush slightly further down on the handle. This will just soften the pressure. 
and you just want to keep buffing until you get a really nice finish. And the cool thing is you can also use the edge of the brush to work alongside the nose or maybe underneath the lip, across the jawline. Using just one brush is a great way to kind of up your skills a little bit because you have to be a bit more precise about your application. Once the rest of my makeup is on, I can then go ahead and pick out my favorite blush. I always like to leave it to last to make sure it matches my lipstick. I'm going to apply it with the flat top part of the brush. So apply a little bit at a time and you really want to apply a very small amount because we want to slowly build this up, especially because we've only got one brush to work with here. So I'm just going to kiss the apples of the cheeks, working backwards, and I only apply a very small amount of blush. I'm not a blush type of person. And there you go. A full face using just one brush. Super easy. Give it a try because it's actually a really fun way to kind of up your skills. If you learned something, give this video a thumbs up. Check out the description box for a discount code on any of the brushes and products that I've used. Now I have to figure out how I can actually leave the house with just one side of my makeup done.